Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatever time that it is that you come across this reading. My name is Omni Badu, and I am back with another one. Yay! Keep in mind that these are general collective readings, and I don't read for any one specific sign on this channel. If this is your story or business, if this resonates, be honest with yourself, plug yourself into the reading where you deserve to be, smack it up, flip it, rub it down, hit the reverse on it, do whatever you have to do, but don't force it. Only take what resonates with you, your life, your story, and leave the rest behind. If this is your story, your business, if this resonates, give it a thumbs up, like it if you like it, and subscribe if you like my vibe welcome hey if you're new and welcome back if you have been here before okay okay hmm Some of you guys, all right, let's see what we got. Okay, so with false person, bad health, man, female, toil and labor, occupation, great fortune. Some of you guys could have somebody at your job kind of like promising you some sort of promotion or like you could be looking for a new job or you could want to to kind of put your, your resume out there. I'm not sure. Like either you've already found a new job and you've put in some sort of notice and these people are telling you that you're going to get some sort of promotion or you're going to get some sort of, they're promising you something to try to keep you at the company. If you, especially for those of you who have already told them that you're leaving, don't believe whatever they're telling you. This could be a job that really stresses you out. It could really cause like mental disturbances to like your energy and just your daily life. Or it could just be a job where they're working you the fuck to death. Like just working you to death like a workhorse. They, you know, you may not get proper breaks. They may have a certain number of breaks and lunches and whatnot scheduled because it could be like a, you know, just a, a taxing job, you know, high labor, not really a really relaxed type of job. And it could be stressing you out, causing you health issues. And you're like, I have to find something else like this. Y'all working me too hard. And they're saying, oh, you know, the load is getting ready to lighten up. No, like whatever they're saying to you to try to keep you at this job, especially if your boss is a female, I kind of feel like. Or it could be a female that is like coming at you with some sort of information or trying to like basically manipulate you into staying at the job but this could be like the boss might be a, a guy but there could be a female that's right under your boss that's always kissing ass and brown nose and this may be the person that they send your way to try to keep you here or tell you you know hey you know i heard it was gonna be some sort of promotion and everybody knows that this person is like the boss's pet you know and so you might be like i don't know you know she be knowing stuff or whatever no she's she's trying to work you you know for the boss the boss is saying go tell the collective this go say that to the collective to keep them here so whatever is going on at your job that you're trying to leave because they're working you too hard or whatever or you're just tired of the stress of the job or whatever it is it go ahead and do your thing Here's this energy. There's this energy that keeps coming up. I don't know. Like, I'm feeling this is kind of giving me the same energy of like y'all dealing with somebody who has a sick wife. So this person with, with thoughts, change, dis, uh, distant horizons. It's like y'all have somebody around you guys who has a sick or elderly or an ill wife or their wife has cancer or 
Alzheimer's, you know, it could even be something like that. This person is thinking about like they're already starting to plan for their future without their wife being in it. And they feel like you're the person that you could even be like financially strapped or this person may know something about your financial situation where like you're not really where you want to be financially. This person may know this. And they're going to try to use that to their advantage. And I feel like this is a coworker or something like that. This is something to do with your job and somebody's sick ass wife. And them promising you money or offering you money or trying to give you some sort of money to get you to lower your guard or your defenses. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, this person's wife is sick. They know, you know. They know you're not fucking with them because you, you're you like, look, your wife, you may feel bad for the wife. It's like the wife is already sick and then you out here trying to cheat. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that where it's like I, you already feel bad for this person's, you know, home life situation. And then they're making it more awkward and more uncomfortable and more weird trying to sleep with you when they know you know that they only trying to sleep with you because they wife is sick. But this is somebody who, where I low key feel like this person is not just trying to sleep with you. This person is like planning a life and a future with you because they're like, they feel like they wife got a foot and a half in the grave. You know, you know, like something weird like that. Um, if it's not that, if you guys were dealing with somebody and you guys aren't dealing with that person anymore because you feel like this person was false. You might have thought this was your soulmate or your twin or something like that. And then you like, no, this crazy motherfucker ain't my soulmate. This fucking creepy ass weirdo is not my twin. So you could have put this person as like, no, this is a hell no. This is somebody wearing a mask. This is somebody who is not who they say that they are. They don't, you know, behave in the manner that I would like for my person to behave in. Like, this is not your person. That's how you feel. I don't know who this is. I don't know, you know, what the case was between the two of you. But this is somebody where you have, like, literally made your peace with the fact that you ain't going to talk to this person again. You ain't going to see him again. Y'all not going to interact anymore because they're not your person. This per whoever this is, they're going through something. I feel like this person is experiencing some sort of health issues whether these be mental health issues but also this person may be having some sort of physical issues right could be an std we know this right but it could also just be from the stds right the S sexually transmitted demons that people pick up and collect as they sleep around with all types of randoms and they don't know their background and they don't know their mental woes they don't know and so you fuck around, you look up, you obsessing and infatuated and stalking and creeping around and being a weirdo because you didn't absorb somebody's energy that you've been fucking on, right? So who knows, this part or this person could actually, I'm hearing like this person may have some issues with their foot or their feet. Like this person may have, you know, yeah, I don't know, sprained an ankle or twisted an ankle or broke their foot or broke their ankle or something. And now this person may be wearing a boot. I don't know why that's relevant. <laughs> I don't know why that's relevant, but that's what I'm hearing and feeling like this person hurt their, they, they may have hurt their foot or feet. For some of y'all, this person jumped down off of something and they like hurt, they like landed wrong or, you know, something. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Whoever this is, you're done with them and you're getting some sort of, you may be coming into some money and this person is working really hard at this time, but they're still not really making any progress in their life financially or in any other type of way. And uh, I feel like you're on their mind all the time to the point that they just want to take you yeah, home. Huh? As far as you always on whoever this person's mind is. This is somebody who feel like they need to make some changes, um, maybe make some changes in who they are, make some changes in the way that they treat you or just people in general. It might not just be you. This could just be a creep. You know, this person just not be a good person. Just they don't know how to treat people. This is the type of person who mistreats people. And then they say, well, they treated me like that because I, I they wanted me to. Right. They They allowed it. 
So they didn't have a problem with it. So I wasn't doing nothing to them. They wanted me to do it because they never went nowhere. You know, like this is one of those type of people. And I feel like um, this person is thinking a lot about the fact that maybe they need to change some things about themselves because they know basically that who they are and how they have been towards you and others in the past. That's the reason that this person is alone right now. Because I feel like this is somebody who's like single. I don't feel like they have anybody. And I feel like because they're single and they don't have anybody and they're not doing well financially and they work in themselves to death. And I, I just feel like you're on their mind. You could have told this person something like they need to humble themselves or, you know, they need to get off their high horse. You know, they being a little egotistical, a little arrogant for no reason. You know, they out here thinking, you know, they know what's right around the river bend when really they don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? So you could have put this person in their place before y'all went y'all separate ways and let them know, like, your ass is up on your shoulders. You know, you're an arrogant, egotistical egotistical narcissistic sociopath like and i don't have time to deal with you you're self-centered you don't give a fuck whose feelings you hurt you don't care who who you don't care right and so you could have really laid it out on the line for this person who they are you could have told them they were a narcissist you could have broke narcissism down for this motherfucker you know what i'm saying like whatever you told this person whatever you said to them in the end this person is thinking about it and they're thinking like at the time that you were saying it, it was fuck you. I don't give a fuck. You can't tell me what to do. You're a crazy ass bitch. I hate you. That's that was what when you were telling them right from wrong, they didn't want to hear that shit. But now that karma is, you know, doing what it does, because karma don't miss a beat or a body. OK, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care who the fuck you think you are. I don't care what fucking shit you think, you know. You ain't escaping no karma, okay? I don't give a fuck about you. None, none of it. None of that. You you playing around doing kitchen witch bullshit. You still cannot escape karma, okay? <laughs> and so this person has not been able... They have not escaped shit. They're living in their karma. The consequences of their actions, right? The cause and the effect of who they have been towards you and others. This is someone who has burnt many bridges, who has deceived many people, who has lied to and manipulated and, and, and conned, you strategized against many different people. And it's, you know, it's, it's time to pay the motherfucking piper. Okay, look at this shit here. Y'all, I, what, what, with the unexpected fucking income at the bottom of the deck, I don't know what is going on, official person, message, right? Thoughts with concern and poverty this whoever this other person is that y'all told you know what the fuck they needed to be told in the end this poverty stricken person this chimney sweep okay this person is concerned it's like this person knows that you have this wealthy man in your energy or that you've met or you're about to meet this wealthy man y'all this person is concerned. They're thinking about you constantly with marriage. We have marriage change. This is somebody who wants to bring some sort of change within their marriage. Or this is somebody who wants to marry you now. All of a sudden, y'all, this person wants to marry you. But it's like either they see you with this wealthy man and your drip is dripping. Okay? I mean, you, you look great. You look amazing you look better than you have ever looked before when this person sees you because they may see you in the community remember how i was saying some y'all have somebody that's gonna move to your neighborhood or move to your complex and you know you're you're gonna be bumping into this person places which of course is gonna be awkward and weird as fuck because y'all are not together I feel like it ended really bad and this is someone that you would rather not have to interact with in your life. You know, you don't want to see them, you don't want to be friends with them, you don't you don't want to talk, nothing. You just don't want to look at this motherfucker. I feel like low key this is this person. And they may see you, they may already have seen you or you have seen them, but you were by yourself. This person may see you with this wealthy man. And when they saw you, when they see you alone, I feel like you're already going to look 
great right you could have got some plastic surgery and this wealthy man paid for it or you could have got yourself fixed up and then met this wealthy man and, you know and now y'all walking around looking like money you know what i'm saying like and I, this is not nothing major like you may have always wanted to get your nose done and now you got your nose done and your confidence is through the roof you know and you dressing different you carrying yourself different you walking different you talking different all because you got that nose you wanted you know or those titties you wanted or that ass you wanted or that flat stomach or what the, the hourglass shape whatever it is right but I feel like you're doing this for yourself. You feeling yourself, you looking good, you feeling good. You have this man that looks good, who takes care of you, who gives you things, buys you things, gives you money. And for those of y'all who don't have this person yet, you're gonna meet this person, I'm telling you, at like your local Walmart or your local Target or your local grocery store or you know in your neighborhood walking around if you go walking you know if you you go out and you like to just enjoy the weather or you go do a little power walking or whatever you that's where you're gonna bump into this wealthy man but and so this the, whoever this ex is their concern is that maybe they took too much time to figure out that you're valuable to them that they love you or that they need you or they miss you or whatever this could have been somebody who was angry or bitter because of some things that happened in the past and they kind of festered in that negativity and festered in that that negative energy in that negative mindset you know just not oh i can't trust her you know i can't believe anything she says i can't you know, I, you know, this person just got kind of into this, 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 this really negative mindset. Like, I don't really know what else to say. And I feel like they're coming out of that mindset a little too late. It's good to come out the, like, come out of the mindset. Yes. Okay. Come the fuck out. Cause it has not served you. Not as, not as, not the slightest fucking bit. So it's like, yes, come out of the mindset, but that don't mean start thinking about marrying people that don't want you no more or putting a marriage back together that cannot be fixed. You know what I'm saying? Like, move the fuck on. You know, you learn this is going to be a savage ass lesson, but the lesson it will be. Okay. So this, this ex is concerned that you're in communication with someone else, an emperor energy official person right so they're concerned that you're in communication with an emperor they either already know that you have this person around you like you could have dealt with this person after y'all separated and this ex could have known and they could have like been laughing about it and acting like oh you think i give a fuck that you talking to somebody no i don't give a fuck about you you ain't shit and you talk to you talk to three more dude you ain't nothing but a nasty hoe and a pass around anyway you know and it's just like damn like i can't move on you know what i'm saying so i feel like this person may have already known of this emperor this could be somebody who they were already intimidated by or this could be somebody completely fucking brand new you know this person may think they know who you fucking with and they may have no fucking idea, okay? Because who they think you fucking with may be somebody else that you threw in the trash, you know? There it is. Unexpected income. Pathway. This emperor, main male with thief. High honor. Child. Courthouse. Gift. Some of y'all at house. Poverty. You see? This person is poor. This this person is indeed, uh, they are in fact a chimney sweep. Like, I don't know what they doing right here. Because this is somebody who, like, couldn't compare to this wealthy man if they sold everything that they have in their possession, including their little car, you know, or whatever they got, you know, they whatever they ask, whatever they need to sell, they could sell it all, and they still wouldn't have a fraction of what this wealthy man has so this is crazy it's like they want to steal you from this wealthy man by holding you in high honor with courthouse they want to honor your marriage they want to honor you by marrying you gift they're either going to propose to you or they're going to try to upgrade you buy you a new ring but this person don't got the money for this 
They may even try to help you get into a house or try to buy you a house or tell you they're going to help you with the down payment on the house, but they don't have the money. They're saying this and doing this literally just to steal you from this wealthy man. Hmm. But this person is false. This is the false person. This is the person that you had to tell back in the slack that, you know, they needed to figure out their life and figure out what is and what isn't important to them and who, who they really are and who they really want to be when they grow the fuck up, okay? But when they do figure all that out, keep it fucking pushing. Like, this is that person. You already told this person what it is and what it ain't. So the, I, I really feel like it's a little nervy. It's a little bit on the audacity side of things that this person is trying to steal you from anybody. I don't give a fuck if you was with, you know, the fucking janitor at the kid's school. You know what I'm saying? That So that's your new man now. Mind your goddamn business, you know? It's kind of what I feel. So I, I just, I don't know. I don't think this person could steal you from anybody. I don't think the money has anything to do with it. I just feel like they're trying to compare themselves or compete against somebody with money. And they don't have, that's, you know, that's kind of where the money come in. It's like, you're trying to compete with somebody and buy me shit, but you can't afford to buy the shit this person can afford to buy. You know what I'm saying? This false, whoever this false person is, I know this is somebody who works a lot or they have to, or they should be working a lot. Like even if this person doesn't work a lot, they should work more than they're working. And, and it, or this is somebody who is always fucking at work. But it's because it's, it's a part of this person's karma. This is somebody who's kind of lazy and bummy and they don't want to work and they don't want to do this and they don't want to do that. So a part of their karma in losing you is that this person is having to work harder than they've ever had to work before, you know, just to stay afloat. But I feel like this is somebody who didn't mind being a bum and a loser when you were in the picture. But it's like now this person, you're no longer there and they have to put this work in. It's like whatever, something about you was keeping them afloat. You were taking care of shit or people was helping letting y'all stay with them and shit because you y'all had kids you know and people didn't want to see the kids out in the streets so they let you and this person come like you are the reason that you guys were afloat for the time that y'all were afloat and now this person has has nothing i feel like and no one yeah, whatever this person has said towards you, you're ugly, you're fat, you're bony, you, you're bald-headed, you, you stink, you a hoe, whatever they say towards you, just don't take it. I think a lot of y'all don't take it personal, but if you do take it personal, don't. Because this person is a loser. They know they're a fucking loser. That's why they're cold and heartless and mean and evil and they say the horrible things that they say. Out of the, I mean, some of the shit this person could say could be like, what? It could be literally mind-boggling. Like, did you just fucking say that? You know what I'm saying? Like, are, for real? This what we doing? You know, like, really? That, that's You going that low with it? Okay. It's because they're a loser and they know they're a loser. And they know you think that they're a loser as well. Right? So they like, you know, how dare this bitch think she's better than me? How dare this bitch think she can do better than me? How dare this bitch think that, you know, she gonna have a better life than the life I provided for her. Even if the life they provided for you was no life at all, okay? It was no life worth living. This person is a headache and they're not worth the headache that they're giving. You know, they're not worth the headache that that you're having to experience is however often. And spirit is really urging you guys to separate from this person if you're still in this person's energy so you can have this time to heal because you're not going to really be able to heal the way you need to heal still dealing with this false person you also will not meet this wealthy man right and even if you have met this wealthy man but you letting this cold heartless evil son of a bitch hold on to you 
how much energy, how much love, how much fun can you have and give to this wealthy man? And you got this devil on your back. I mean, seriously. So don't take whatever this person is saying and doing towards you personal because um, cause they ain't shit. And they motherfucking ass know they ain't shit. Period. Gosh, this is a ton of cards. Strategic. Okay, so let's look. I'm punishing you, taking it out on everyone around me. Okay, broke, busted, and disgusted. After all that we've been through, I'm not giving this up. Cheating. Some of y'all, this person is committed to somebody else. This this broke, crazy, you know, karmic ex. And this person is coming towards you to, to try to steal you from this wealthy man. But they may be cheating on this other person while they're doing this. That is so crazy to me. Like, broke people cannot cheat you can't afford it you know what i mean you trying to cheat and figure out when the next time you're gonna get your dick wet and your lights are finna get cut off in like 48 hours but in them 48 hours that you should be hustling up a check to make sure y'all have lights you trying to figure out if that person you've been dicking down on the side is still entry like you know what i'm saying you can't afford this shit Cause you can't focus on your job so you can get your bills paid because you trying to keep up with your side hoe like you you can't afford this is someone who should not be cheating they literally cannot afford it this person went and committed to this other person for those of y'all where they're committed to somebody else they were trying to punish you by going and running and jumping into some sort of spiteful commitment and now they want you back because you don't care and you ain't worried about them and you ain't stalking them and you ain't looking to see who they fucking with or not. You know, you just don't give a fuck about this person or whatever they got going on or the direction they done went in. You don't care. And they don't like that you don't care. They want it. This isn't feeling like a punishment. You know, it, it would feel like a punishment if you if you cared. You know what I'm saying? But you literally, some of y'all are, are feeling free and liberated and excited and you know you could have always kind of wanted this distance and this silence and this space from this person and i feel like it was hard to get there because you maybe wanted to keep it you know keep a little control over the situation to where it's like okay we ain't never gonna not talk again just give me a year give me two three years to myself you know and also those years will be for you for yourself to get see where we land in those but this person refused to even back off and give you that time because this person feel like y'all have too much history and y'all have too much, you know, that y'all have overcome and been through together. This is not one of the things, but they feel like there are other things in the past, you know, and they don't want to give all that up. So they just wanted to punish you by getting into another relationship and giving someone all the things that they had promised you and making you feel bad and embarrassing you and talking about you behind your back and kicking you in the face while you were down. That was a punishment. But you was just getting some licks. They was going to come back. So they thought, right? But I feel like with this taking it out on everyone around them, this person is broke than a motherfucker. They in a commitment for some of y'all that they do not want to fucking be in. Or they're single and living on their own, struggling, broke, lonely, depressed. And, try, and, and got in this position because they were cheating. The bitch they were cheating with could be around, could not. Some of y'all, this person is nowhere to be found. And this person destroyed their life literally for a roll in the hay. Now they lashing out and taking it out on everyone around them because they lost you forever. So they're in a commitment and they're going to stay in it because they know they can't come back to you. But they don't want to be in that. They want to come back to you. Or they're single. Because they were cheating. And you kicked that ass to the curb. You see what I'm saying? And now they want you back. But you don't want them. And they could have started cheating on you as some form of punishment or some form of payback. But I'm, regardless, this is someone who's lashing out on everyone, cussing people out, having confrontations at work, getting into it with the person who work at the gas station by their house, cussing out the bitches at the fucking, you know, uh... <laughs> customer service over at walmart like this is somebody who's just getting into it with everybody if they with somebody in a relationship they get into it with that person if this person is one of them friend type of dudes who sit up and breathe down his friend's neck 24 7 he getting into it with his own boys
do you still love me do you still think about me drunk wino alcoholic sick and twisted losing friends and family what success okay success self imposement prison background and bullshit okay with oh no mm -hmm. yeah you see so yes you have success and you're back on your bullshit which is how you met and are now entertaining and pouring into this situation with this wealthy man whatever you pouring into it that i mean you telling this person you love them or or nothing like that yet but y'all are getting to know one another and i think it y'all i think you're having fun right now i think you're enjoying this new person i think you're enjoying the attention if y'all i don't think i, I don't think y'all have got to a sexual place for a lot of you guys with this person if you have i think you're enjoying that but i don't think a lot of y'all have gotten there yet i think you're taking your sweet ass time because why the fuck not why the fuck if it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be okay we can fuck we can not fuck that don't matter if you my man you're gonna be my man if you ain't you ain't it's that simple but this person because you have this success and you back on your bullshit and you're not worried about them and you're not thinking about them and you don't seem like you love them anymore or think about them anymore they're in some sort of self-imposed they're in some sort of mental prison over your success and your you know boss ass bitch badass bitch energy that you're in right now so this person is at somewhere literally wondering if you still love them if you still you know think about them we have do what i tell you to do that came out so this person is like i feel like you see a part of this person spiraling out of control is they feel like they were trying to punish you this person was trying to condition you to accept less or condition you to accept this this demeanor that they were putting on you know this air of i hate you but you know you gonna be around like whatever weirdo ass energy this person was was putting out it was for some sort of control they had some sort of control over the situation because they were hurting you and belittling you and and damaging you emotionally and even though they could see that they were really doing a number on you something very negative something that was really causing you to be in pain and cry and hurt they were content happy comfortable aroused even because you they had control even though they were you know killing you inside you know you felt like you didn't know if you was going to be able to get up in the morning you didn't know if you was going to be able to do what you needed to do or or take care of your kids because of how this person was treating you but they were happy and content because they felt like they had control over you and you were going to do what they told you to do because you valued them loved them and wanted and needed them in your life so much at that point in time now this person is scared of you because you didn't show they motherfucking ass something, okay? You didn't show them something that they were not expecting to see. Your strength. You've shown this person how strong you are and how you don't really motherfucking need them. Like, period. Period, period, period. Oh, this is, you know, this poor thing. This is somebody who needs to be needed or they needed they need to feel needed by you maybe but the, whoever this is y'all this is this person that is strategizing and a lot of y'all already know like this person may have contacted you on numerous different occasions or reached out or you know they might have tried to reconnect or say you know hey did you want to finally have that talk or you know and you might have just cussed them the fuck out hung up in their goddamn face and they ain't fucking heard from you since and they thought oh, okay she got it out she cussed me out you know Ugh, let me just give it a couple days or a week or so you know y'all used to not talking to each other anyway so they thinking you're gonna come back around but you didn't some of y'all this person is afraid to talk to you because they have some sort of baggage they may have a child they may even be married or something like that and you know this person is having to tell you that they have a child or that they married this other person and now they trying to get out of it some of y'all this person wants y'all to help them get out of a marriage or this person may want you to take them and their child in and i i know i feel it some of y'all are like yes 
I would love him and his child good for you. Okay, I ain't doing it. I don't want to do it. I ain't going to pretend like I'm doing it. I can fuck with somebody new who got a kid, but I ain't fucking with no ex who coming back with no baby. I don't know. I ain't never seen before. Who baby is that? Nah, I don't even want to know who baby it is. You the baby, the bitch that had it. Y'all good. Slide to the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no anger attached to it. It just is what it is. Like, I have, I can't do nothing with you and this little ass baby. You know what I'm saying? My baby is seven. <laughs> you know, he wipes his own ass. You know, he burps on his own when he need to. You know what I'm saying? He, he just regular. He's a kid. You know, he do everything for, he can fucking, he can spread out a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at this point. You know, I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with an infant. I don't even remember what to do with them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't help you. You know? So, it's like, for me, I ain't doing it. I did that already. I raised two beautiful kids. I'm still in the process of raising them. And I just don't have the energy or the willpower to be taking on nobody else's kids. I'm sorry that I'm not. Sorry. Okay? That's all right. So, this person is losing connections with friends and or family members. This could be somebody who already didn't really have any type of connection with their family because, you know, this person's narcissistic and people get sick and tired of motherfuckers who literally are only looking out for themselves 24-9, okay? So... This could be somebody who already don't really have no type of dealings or relationship with their family. And so this person may have really been leaning on friends, you know, new friends, people they meeting from jobs, just random people in their life that they're considering friends and bitches that they digging in, you know, just people, randoms, you know, random here, random there. Well, these randoms are tired of this person. They tired this person's nasty ass attitude. They tired this person cussing everybody out all the time. And this do what I tell you to do because this person lost this complete control over you. They have completely lost it. They have not a not a nothing like they can't move you in no type of motherfucking way. Um, I feel like they've turned that controlling nature of theirs. They've turned it towards their friends. You know, they've turned it towards they new little bitch. They they didn't turn their nastiness that they were hiding from everybody. Because everybody was, everybody either was calling you crazy. Because you was trying to tell people what was really going on. And they was calling you crazy. And now they like, oh shit. She wasn't crazy. She, what? She wasn't lying? That's kind of how people are feeling right now. But some of y'all never had any dealings with this person's other circle. You don't know any of their friends. Their friends don't know you. These could be people who had a lot to say about you based off of what this masculine was telling them. And um, these people may be real motherfucking quiet at this point. But I feel like it's because this masculine that abuse that these narcissists like to 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 do to the empath right they like to do that in secret they like to hide that shit that's why they like to isolate that's why you can't have no friends or they would like for you not to have any friends they don't want you talking to nobody in your family you can't be cool with your sister and them you can't go see your mama every weekend like you used to you know because they trying to come between y'all they they don't like him because they jealous of you. You know what I mean? You look up, it's been years, you ain't seen nobody, spoke to nobody, all your friends looking at you with the wipe eye because they like, oh, now all of a sudden this bitch wanna come around. You know, like, but you can't tell them, like, you trying to tell them. They don't give a fuck. They don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> you know, where you like, that was him. No, bitch, that was you. You grown, you got decisions that you can make. You chose to let, you know, so that's kind of how friends and family might might have been acting at first with your situation. Because I feel like this person was an isolator, but I feel like now you're back, you know, around people. You back out part of the world because you got away from this person. And I feel like there's either another, there's some other woman or whatever that they didn't worked on and isolated this person. And they're being really, really cruel to this person because they like to hide that shit. So they either being really nasty and lashing out and, and really, really mistreating this new person who thought that this masculine was head over heels in love with them and that they were choosing them over you because of how much they loved them and how much they hated you. 
But now they starting to see this person is just mean and evil and cruel and vindictive and hateful for no fucking reason. Because they're miserable. And misery needs what? Company. Okay? But again, I also feel like this is somebody where their friends had a lot to say about you based off of what this person was saying that you were saying and doing and how you were acting and... These people may have laughed at you and made fun of you and, and just, you know, oh, poor you, you know, you got this crazy ass ex or this crazy ass baby mama or whatever, right? These people are quiet than a motherfucker right now, though, because they see this person is the mask is slipping. Ooh, you better quit playing with me. Quit, quit, quit playing with me. All right. This person's mask is slipping. All right. <laughs> Period mask falling right the fuck off they looking ugly than a bitch ugly scary people like whoa who is this uh that's the same person that this motherfucker didn't be in this whole time i'm so sorry you didn't know i'm so sorry you were bamboozled and blindsided i get it i've been there imagine how the fuck i felt when i found out this motherfucker was an evil crazy cruel ass son of a bitch this whole fucking time Blew my goddamn wig back. I swear to God. Oop, moving in silence. Y'all are fine. <laughs> You're fine. You're working on something. Some of you guys are working with someone or somebody is coming towards y'all to offer for you guys to collaborate with them. Uh, you could be in a totally different line of work. Like you could have a regular job, whatever a regular job is. It could literally be anything in the world, but you may not do content right you you may not be in that world and somebody may be uh, what i'm feeling is somebody's gonna start some sort of vlog or podcast and they're gonna want you to like co-host this with them or you may already even know like you're talking with somebody or you and two of your friends is talking about like doing a vlog or or something like that together and y'all could be learning or trying to do research and trying to figure out like how to start it you know, how should you set it up? Stuff like that. You know, just trying to see like what type of setups work best for whatever this new venture is. Because I feel like it is. I feel like it's something you had to learn. But I also feel like it's something that you're doing with, with one or two other people. Or maybe two of y'all are really, really serious about this shit. Like two of y'all are like, we gonna do this fucking vlog you know and the third person's like mm -hmm, you know yep we doing a vlog you know but y'all are like researching and watching other people's vlogs to see how they have their shit set up and how do they come on and how do they start their conversation and you know do they have an intro do they just jump right into it do they give like a little little uh fucking synopsis type situation where they give us a little rundown like what how does you know so you y'all could really be on it and that other person could be like mm but I feel like it's because you are over what you've been through with this uh, with your ex. Plus, you have this wealthy man around you who is inspiring you and motivating you to continue to move forward and be your best self. I feel like you're focused on your responsibilities, being a mom or starting a business or buying a house and getting your shit together so you can like have your first kid. You know, you want to be stable and grounded and things like that before you have this kid what this is beautiful and i love that it keeps coming out though because everything is fucking fine like y'all are completely okay with the way things have turned out now that it's all over when you were in it holy shit okay but i feel like now that it's completely over it's like eh, it's all right you know like uh, I wouldn't have wanted anything in my life to end like that, you know, or I would have, you know, but it is what it is. Like, you can't control people and you can't help who other people are and who motherfuckers choose to be. So you just, you good. I do feel like you spend a lot of time by yourself. I do feel like you get together with your friends. You may have friends that you talk to on the phone regularly and you may have a few people that you're dating, of course, including this wealthy man. But I feel like, you know, 
outside of that, you, you spend a lot of time alone. Like, you're not one of them people that's just walking around in Walmart, you know, because you don't have nothing else to do. Or up at the mall, just walking up and down the mall and in and out of stores because you bored. You know, it's like, you no, know, if you bored, you clean your house or you just decide you're going to start a garden or, <laughs> you know, you finna fucking paint the walls and, and gut some shit. You know, like, I, I feel like you're not, you're just not frolicking around out outside there is something coming towards you guys if y'all are working on some sort of work venture or you are trying to start a business or you are trying to start a channel or whatever this is this could be this thing that you're collaborating with these other people with you could already have your own thing going and then somebody comes in wanting to collaborate and it really takes off for the both of you guys or whatever could some of y'all could be there kind of talking to somebody about collaborating Hmm, that's funny, but I'm getting the two of cups. So nine of cups. Mm -hmm. Wish for me. Nine of pentacles. Is this the emperor? Yeah, with the chariot. This may be this wealthy man with the knight of swords, the fool, death, rebirth. <clears throat> we'll pull some more energy on this. This could be this could be this wealthy man who you do have a soul tie with this wealthy man. This person is coming in as a wish fulfillment for you, but also to fulfill your wishes. I feel like this, you're already, I feel like y'all are both nine of pentacles energies. I just feel like there's going to be some, I feel like things are going to move kind of fast with this wealthy man. But I don't think, I think it's going to start really fucking slow. Like, I think y'all are going to talk and text and really get to know each other um, low-key. I don't think that's y'all intention. I think there's a little bit of nervousness. I feel like there's a little bit of, like, this person really finds you to be attractive and you make them a little nervous. So they may be a little intimidated. But I also feel, um, like, respect, right? Showing up as a queen of pentacles, this person is thinking of you as somebody that deserves respect right you're not somebody that deserves to just be hit and quit you know what i mean like that's that's so this is somebody who has you on a pedestal and then literally it stopped on the star with the three of wands you see what i'm saying yeah this this wealthy man is seeing you as their ship coming in like they feel like this is somebody who always wanted to be with a baddie you know what i'm saying like for real for real somebody who always wanted to be with a slim thicky all right or somebody super fucking thick as fuck you know tiny edb waist big fat ass you know like whatever you got going on some giant ass double d's they like i always wanted some tick old bitties in my life this person you are it for them whatever you got going on just like your extreme beauty it's like you're just gorgeous as fuck and this person's like oh always oh this level of fine the kind of woman you feel like don't really exist outside of the fucking instagram this is somebody who you know is like whoa this is an instagram model in real life you know because that's the world we live in ain't it you can't just be beautiful. You got to look like, you know, like an OnlyFans model. You know, you like, what? Like, <laughs> so, yeah, this is somebody who feel like you insta fine, okay? And they, and they got you on a pedestal. So I feel like this is somebody who don't want to fuck this up or ruin it or just, you know, come trying to throw their dick all upside your head. You see? <laughs> <laughs> ace of wands with everything is fine because you don't give a fuck about the ex and what went down and you're over it and stuff fully and completely you're getting this new new beginning and it's gonna be passionate we already knows this Ooh, the lovers whoa, with the hermit it's like maybe y'all are inside a lot because y'all in there bumping uglies what y'all doing Ooh, you nasty <laughs> Fist bump, pow. Okay, because we like that energy. Yeah. You see, I was going to say that. That is so funny because I was thinking like, so I really feel like, you know, y'all are soulmates and y'all are for each other and whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, but I do, I, what I felt strongest and originally was that you got that X. This is that X. 
with the Knight of Pentacles. It's been too long. It's been so long. It's been too long, right? It's been months and years, you know. This I feel like it was months or years of this person being ignorant than a motherfucker. It was months or years of this person being cruel than a bitch. You know, and now it's been months and years of quiet. And it's like, will you forget about me, goddamn? You know, <laughs> forget my motherfucking name, bitch. Like, Jesus, I know it's unique, but like, gee, pretend like you ain't never heard it before, motherfucker. Man, it's just a word. Shit. Mm. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Sheesh, my nerves in real life, okay? God damn. Yeah. So yeah, this person that you're hiding from, that you're in silence, moving in silence, you're not including them in any moves, any decisions, any anything, anything, nothing, okay? They're not included, motherfucker, move, okay? We don't want you here. You're not a part of the circle. You're not a part of the family. You can't fucking sit here. You don't even fucking go here, okay? This That person, that's who you get in some sort of communication from after it's been too fucking long. And then y'all laid up and boot up with this person. Some sort, I'm telling y'all, Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles, there's a fantasy, there's a dream, there's something going on in the imagination station, okay, of your own mind or your mind and, and you and some of your woes. And you like, no, bitch, like, this is gonna work, like, no, this, like, but it is. So stay hyped like that, because y'all, <laughs> with the magician, whatever y'all talking about is gonna bust, okay? But don't be collaborating with no hating ass bitches, all right? Because sometimes when you do shit as a group, you may be the breakout star. And that's kind of what I feel like. You may be able to branch off and do your own thing from this. And y'all still going to have this podcast, but you're going to branch off and do your own thing. Like this fame or this clout that you get from this podcast, they all going to be like, she's the funniest or she's the finest or she. And you're going to move over to modeling or comedy or whatever right you're gonna be the breakout so you want to make sure that the people that are with you are going to continue to support you once you separate yourself because you're going to stay you're going to continue to do the thing with them because they need you right if you leave and don't do it with them no more ain't nobody really gonna watch this podcast anymore because they're not watching for the group they're watching for you <laughs> lord okay but yeah if these people that you're doing this with kind of get any type of you know envy or anything in their energy i feel like they gonna lose you and then whatever y'all are doing together is gonna crumble but you're gonna continue to to you have a future in this you have a future in front of the screen or you have a future you know being a, a fucking talk show host or whatever it is like you you're a, you're the star you're a star and you're gonna take off some of y'all, this is just a family thing. You know, you could have people hating in your family or feeling some type of way because of what you're doing or what you've been doing. Keep doing it. You're going to keep going further and further and, and, and higher and higher. And they're going to keep being madder and madder. But that ain't going to change the facts, okay? Yeah, seven of swords. Okay, just swords again. Yep, y'all got an ex that wants to work on things bad. You are now all of a sudden this person's wish fulfillment. It could be, which we know this has kind of been coming out a lot lately, that you are this person's wish fulfillment, but it's because you got a bag and they don't. It's because you bout that, okay? Because you a hustler and they a fucking loser and a bum. <clears throat> Yeah, Queen of Swords, Hierophant, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords. This person got you fucked up. Yeah, the Hermit energy is towards whoever this person is coming in this Knight of Pentacles. Whoever this ex is that's trying to come in and be your emperor now or be daddy or they got that daddy's home energy, but not really. <laughs> whoever that you are not fucking with this motherfucker. This is the person that put the 10 in your back. You good, but that don't mean you want the 10 put back in your back again. And you already know what they're capable of. So you've learned your lesson, you've ascended beyond this person and this situation, this marriage or the idea of marrying this person is no more. You will be damned if you let, you feel like this person is a liar, a snake, a manipulator, a weirdo, a freakazoid, you know, creepy ass fucking snake. That's so funny. 
Oh, yeah. They gonna, I, I feel like this person is going to be very emotional with you and very vulnerable with you. But I, I, I at the same time, I feel like this is somebody you cannot trust. Spirit, I mean, can, I mean, what's up? You know? Yep, Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. This energy, their energy is the same. This person is broke with this Five of Pentacles. They see you as the Ten of Pentacles, the devil. This person ain't changed. This person ain't no good. Spirit said, what's up? It's hell no. Okay? Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles. This person's going to try to come in and collaborate or build on some friendship or something like that so y'all can get back into some sort of balanced energy and possibly move in together or something. But this person, whatever addictions they had, they still have. Whatever obsessions they had, they still have. Whatever they put, you know, before you, they still going to put it before you. This is somebody trying to come in out of the cold. This is somebody who's trying to get themselves out of poverty. And they are willing to say and do whatever they have to, especially with that five of swords, emotional and mental and physical, verbal, all of that. That's manipulation, right? That's abuse. So, you know, this person will mentally abuse you and manipulate your mind just so they can have somewhere to live for the free-free. This is a loser and a bomb, period. Okay. Ace of, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Hermit. Hermit with the lovers. Could be a Virgo or a Gemini that y'all are meeting or whatever, but... Or you could be a Virgo or a Gemini. Heavy on the Virgo. But, ooh... <laughs> Yeah, I feel like victory, success, attention, love, fulfillment, happiness. And that's why y'all gonna be in the house. I knew y'all was gonna be in the house, but I didn't know it was because y'all finna be somewhere with your legs pent up. I'm fine behind your head all day, every day. All right, period. So yeah, y'all got something new and it's gonna work out for you. It's beautiful, it's sexy, it's nasty, it's money in there, okay? Everything you want. And then you got this old thing that you, you a lot of y'all feel like you could have gone the rest of your life without ever speaking to this person again. And here the fuck they ugly face come. Like, ugh. Could you, like, get a life? Or, like, I don't know. Alright, it's gonna be our reading. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you like my vibe. My name is Omni Badu. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, your donations, all of your positive comments. If you want a personal reading, be sure to check the description box below. And until next time, bye.